Guys, today I'm going to show you how to add rows to a financial report. Let's say you've got a financial report and you want to add three or four rows, three or four new accounts or different accounts to that row. I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically what you do is you go into your financial reports, you go into build report builder, find your financial reports, and you access the rows. So the rows show you all the accounts that are going to print on the financial statement. Okay, so right here I've got a 1007 account um, and a 1102 account. Let's say I wanted to add the plain 1000 account. One way of doing it is I could click on the GLCOA button, which brings up the chart of accounts, and it allows me to drag accounts into my report. So I can basically take this 1000 account, drag it to the bottom of the report, and then intersperse it wherever I want. Okay? So I take this 1007, I add that account, and I can just drag that wherever I want, 1700. So now you'll note it's come in line there. Another way to add an account would be to go to the bottom of the spreadsheet and go filter accounts. And then I could tab over to the actual account. And here's where I could select for my filter all the accounts that I want to put into this specific row and click apply and that will bring the account over and now it'll be in the report and I can drag it wherever I want it. Okay. All right. Now, one thing you might say is that's cool, but I want to add a range of accounts. So if you wanted to add 20 accounts in a row and never miss accounts in between those 20, if you if you uh, added new accounts, I'm going to show you how to do that. So again, you go to the filter accounts, you go over to your filter, and instead of saying ID account ID is equal to, you'd say account ID is between. ID is between. One thousand and one thousand seven, right? And then you could save that. Now that's going to print on the report all the um, all the rows between one thousand and one thousand seven in that row. And here's a little trick over here: if you click print each, it will break them off each into their own row instead of aggregating them into one row, right? So if you click this print each over here that's going to take those accounts and spit them out in individual rows. Cool. Now when I close my row and I go into generate the report, you're going to note that the, all those accounts are inside that range there. So just to, I just want to show you a quick and easy way um, to add accounts into a report two ways. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.